two videos about my school in one day yes productive yes hello once again with the same makeup as the last blooms for university video what's poppin hi what's up my name is janelle aka nelly and um i'm talking about diversity probably a couple frequently asked questions yeah let's do it let's do it frequently asked questions i get when i work at a bookstore and a little bit of diversity if we have time if you don't know i am a senior at bloomsburg university so i know a lot so <laughs> uh first things first as a freshman do you have to live in the dorm yes i did not pick where i lived they just placed me there i picked my roommate i don't know how i did that but i picked my roommate um that was a terrible situation but yeah you can pick your roommate but you can't pick where you live um one thing i can say for is that for the llc club which is the learning live learning community club something like that uh, i was part of two clubs one was called compass which is for undeclared freshmen, so we could figure out what to do with our lives and what major we want to do. And another one's called vis Visual and Performing Arts. It's literally what it is, Visual and Performing Arts. I was in choir for like most of my life. Usually like the LLC clubs, they pick the dorm for you. So for Compass, they will live in Lycoming Hall. Uh, for Visual Performing Arts, you guys will be in Northumberland Hall. For Frederick Douglass, I believe you're in Luzerne Hall. Um, you got a lot of different dorms. Or certain LLC compass groups that if you found so I joined too they put me in Lycoming that's how I end up in Lycoming do you have to give me a plan if you live on campus most specifically lower campus was where all the dorms are yes you have to have a meal plan in order to live on campus upper campus I don't think you really need a meal plan because you have an oven but I do recommend to get a meal plan because you're gonna get hungry throughout the day and sometimes you don't want to take the bus back up to upper campus or drive back up to upper campus because parking is hell which is another thing can i get parking well <laughs> so for parking it goes by how many credits we have and so as a freshman you park at upper it's far away freshman it's gonna be far away from you freshman year because your car is gonna be on upper campus by the school football stadium but by the building by jka it's all the way in the back you gotta take a shuttle bus and then you gotta walk like and that parking lot is huge so it's it's up to you. I understand why, but like, it's not going to be next to your dorm. Um, I'm a senior, so I can park. If I brought my car to campus, I can park by the hospital lot by Geisinger, which is the closest one. I'm a, I'm a senior. I got a lot of credits. Um, those are like the only two parking spots I could think of. But on the weekends, usually, unless it's currently editing at nighttime right now, but if you live on upper campus, um, after your first semester or on your second semester you decide to move to upper campus for whatever reason they do have parking spaces available for you so it is easier for you to park on campus when you live in the upper campus apartments but when you live in the dorms it's a lot harder because you have to walk a little bit when you have to get to your car on weekdays on weekends it's a lot easier because you can park wherever you want so I forgot to talk about that. There's a block party or just like a special event going on that weekend. You can park anywhere on campus for free unless you just so happen to pick a spot that for some reason the police on campus decide to give you a ticket because that happens to my friend a couple times. So you got to be kind of careful with parking. I do recommend a few freshmen to get a car because sometimes taking the shuttle bus to Walmart is not fun because it comes every hour. It only comes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I believe. So... There you go. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, I believe. Um, I have not taken a shuttle bus since, like, sophomore year. Because <laughs> I found friends who have cars. Can I go to Bloomsburg University undeclared? Yes. That's what I did. Look at me. <laughs> Graduated a year late because I didn't know what to do with my life. And figure it out by taking a random class. I recommend that. Take a random class. Um, it might become your major, it might become your minor, you may never know. This is exactly what happened to me. Is it easy to make friends on campus? So, look, I am the most socially awkward, anxiety-ridden person you meet when I first meet you. You might think if for some reason you see me on campus, you will probably think I'm just a cold-hearted bitch for my resting face and the way that I analyze you when I first meet you because I'm just shy and I'm just, I just... I look very unimpressed with people when I first meet them unless I just naturally click with them. But I still managed to find my group of friends here. There is a lot of people who did drop out, but it's mainly not because that they it's not because that they didn't find friends, it's because of financial issues. 
This is another thing you can find. You need to, you personally, whoever you are, you need to figure that out on your own time. Read every single word of your scholarship. Because there's some people that I know who lost their scholarship for the stupidest of things. My friend was on scholarship and they took it away because he moved because he decided to move from one dorm to another. <laughs> so just read your scholarships and see what they cover and make sure you check every single point because you don't want to be screwed at the end of the day. I know some person are gonna be like, Can I move off campus? You can move off campus, however, you can't move back on campus. I don't understand that whole rule at the school that once you move off, you can't come back on like stupid so yeah you can just be aware that you can't come back unless it's like special circumstances so like there you go one of the best majors are at school so I'll be very straight up on this the best majors for our school is in the nursing program i expect the crap out of them our nursing program is really really good um our asl program and our speech pathology program they're really good i took an asl class uh, freshman year and I was interested in doing like a dual major or a minor ASL, but just so y'all know, that ASL class was just like the requirements, like it's just too, it's, it's a lot. I just found out my community college has a program to get your ASL degree. So I'm gonna do that because the program for ASL majors by itself, I'm over here like, bruh, <laughs> I'm exhausted. So, um, yeah, I have to drop it, but that's a pretty good program. Criminal justice. Criminal justice is my minor. I'm a creative writing major with a criminal justice minor. And um, I was interested in law and marine biology when I came in. How did that happen? Don't ask. And what I can say is that the best teachers to have is Dr. Lesneski. Lewinsky? I think his name is Lesneski. Yeah, Dr. Lesneski. He's very chill, blunt. He'll take the time out of the day to explain things to you. And he's not one of those BS teachers who like to fill in time. Once he made his point, he will let you go out of class. I had him for a two o'clock class. And 95% of the time, we were out within 25 minutes. And I still understood everything. So he's a cool teacher. Dr. Roth. Um, if you have Dr. Roth multiple times, there's literally no reason for you to not get an internship. Because for criminal justice, you have to do an internship. And... I had her for criminal investigations this last semester and she had like five people come in looking for recruiters for internships. So there's no reason whatsoever to find an internship when it comes to Dr. Ross. She's chill. I love her. She's nice. She works with you. <laughs> so she's really cool. Um, she's really good at explaining too, which is why I like her because she uses, I, I like real life examples for things and she does that quite often. Eggs majors, which is like more biology majors. Um, they're cool. Yeah, those are like the top majors. Business. Business is really good at our school. There's a whole conference in the spring semester, I believe, called Zipped. I don't know what it stands for, but it's for all the business majors. Like, you all dress up in suits. They're just professional, and you pretty much make connections in the real world throughout the whole days or two days, I believe, for business. And usually for business classes, they give you extra credit, and you get, like, real life connections for the future once you graduate so this is really good as well as communication studies i'm part of a communication club and i am part of the major communication studies honestly i feel like everybody should have a minor in it because you could do everything with it they have a new minor called emergent media which is literally learning how to do social media so it's really cool so yeah communication studies criminal justice sl um yeah, the majors that I mentioned. Those are the, the top majors that we get. Um, I know this upcoming class is a lot of science, so y'all are really smart. Academic probation. So there's a whole thing about academic probation. Academic probation is when you get a two, when your GPA is lower than 2.0. So that's when you go to academic probation. So they give you pretty much at most three semesters to get it above a 3.0 so please avoid that as much as you can because don't be like me <laughs> freshman year who's lost it was even debating like should I even go back to school and the next nug on academic probation and I could have had like a 3.5 right now if it wasn't for that because I have like a lot of credits so your GPA depends on how many credits you have the less credit you got the easier it is for you to get a 4.0 the more credit you got the harder it is for you to get a 4.0. I could be in Dean's list right now if I didn't get academic probation. So don't do that. <laughs> um, please put an effort towards your classes. Um, if you feel like you're lacking, get a tutor if there's available. 
So I know tutoring, getting a tutor is hard and or try to make friends in the class and make like a study group or talk about with a friend as a discussion to get you interested in it because you know that's what I did. Uh, that's what I could think of right now is like frequently asked questions for for Bloomsburg. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit diversity too. So as you can see, I am a black woman in America. <laughs> Freshman year when I came in fall 2015, it has gotten a lot better. So there is a lot of clubs on campus for multiculturals. There's a whole multicultural center. I am the vice president of Black Coast Society on a campus. What's up? I can't I can't wink. Um visit us <laughs> at the activity fair. Um we talk about we talk about like black culture and history, pastime current time have fun do all these type of things our uh speech what's it called musical chairs musical chairs is dangerous with us oh my gosh i refuse to play <laughs> with us in musical chairs but um, diversity has gotten a lot better um now i think i think there's more there's more asian people on campus that's a really bad thing to say because no because especially when there's only two asian people on campus but i feel like there's 10 now like <laughs> Um, so that's a lot better. There is um, a Muslim club. It's a student organization of Latinos. They are a poppin' ass club too. There is um, Curl Friends, which is for natural hair and like wigs and beauty and all that stuff for boys and girls and everything in between. There is um, NAACPs on campus. We got the African Student Association Club. We got the Caribbean Association Student uh, Club, CASA. We um, and even for like not race wise, there is politically different clubs. There's the Republicans clubs, there's the Democratic clubs, there's the, the ones who doesn't really believe in political party club. You know, they're all there. Um, if you feel like there isn't a, a safe space for you, you will find your safe space in one of these clubs, okay? Because all these clubs do their own events. Um, in the fall. Casa is making a Met Gala. You know, those famous Met Gala where Rihanna always kill every single year's theme. But she didn't come this year. Charities, we're doing that this year. And we're doing it as heavenly bodies. It's going to be fun. We did a, a party called Soka Loka, which is a Caribbean theme party. We did a party with um, Sue and I of, of Latinos for Drake versus Travis Scott night. Um, <laughs> we plan on visiting other schools this year to talk about differences between PWIs and HBCUs or just be like the difference between both of our PWIs at the same time because Bucknell isn't too far away from us so like there's a lot of things you can do on campus there is um charities on campus yeah campus campus is pretty diverse so if you're a person who's not white you're good if you are white you're still good because Bloomsburg University is a PWI a predominantly white institution but the diversity has been getting pretty good lately so there you go people will know People of color will begin to know of you. Like, I know of a lot of people, but I haven't really had, like, in-depth conversations with them. I know of them because you know why? We we see each other. We know of each other. We know all the teachers. We know all that good jazz. So, <laughs> that's it. But, um, sororities and Greek life, like, the Divine Nines, we have, um, Delta Sigma Theta just came back, like, a year or two ago. And, for females, all we have is Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, and it just came out like two years ago. Um, <laughs> for guys, we have Sigmas, and we got, we had a Q, a Q, yeah, one Q. Uh, um, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> um, we got Kappa, so we got the Kappas Q, I don't know about the Q, we got the Kappa, we got the Kappas, and we got the Sigmas, I don't know about the Qs. And we only have the Deltas on campus for like Divine Nine sorority fraternities for um, predominantly white <laughs> sorority fraternities. Um, D Phi <laughs> um, they're called D Phi They're pretty good. They're a pretty cool sorority because my friends in it. Um, Pixies are that's up to you for that one. Um, you'll find out on campus about them. Um, there's A Phi L. They're there. I don't really know much about them. There is. A lot of chances of sorties and attorneys. There is a file which is Alpha Phi Omega, a community service fraternity on campus. And when you join them, you can still like a join. You can still join like another sorority fraternity because that's like a co sorority fraternity. Like all they do is community service, which is good. But like 
I don't know. I don't know much about Greek life, so I just know that much. If you are a person of color, you will mainly see a lot more, and by a lot more, like probably like two or three more, um, people of color, like brown people, in like criminal justice, political science, and biology majors. I've noticed that a lot lately. Um, I'm a creative writing major, so there's only two of us. Um, <laughs> there's only two of us, but in criminal justice, there's always like a lot, a lot more. And political science. Political science is a good major at school, too. So, yeah, there you go. So, that's all I can really think of right now. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Or you can DM me on Instagram at Janelle Quadruple 7, which is Janelle. I'll put it on the screen. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this random video of me recording in the middle of the night again, right after my dorm video. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. And if you're a freshman, Congrats, welcome to being a husky. What's up? You're gonna you're gonna be fine, okay? You're gonna find your friends. You know, everybody got a friend. Everybody, especially people who I cannot stand, they still got your friends, because you know why? Someone will like you, someone will. Uh yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video and I will I'll possibly see you around.